Hi YouTube. I am coming to you with my perspective of the breast implant boob job experience. So next week I'm getting my breast done. I'm going to go from a size A to a D. And obviously because I'm unhappy with my breast size. Um, so I'm wearing this bikini so that you can see how I look before and then you're going to see I'm going to once I get them done I'm going to show you how it looks afterwards and I'm going to show progression um, I really enjoy watching everyone else's videos so I thought to myself I'll do my own so again I just want to mention um, I'm getting them done because one of my breasts are a little larger than the other one and that's annoying and also I feel like I can fit my shirts better um, bikinis better, it just looks better, you know, if, if they're bigger. So here is my behind. As you can see, there's my behind. And then here are my breasts. <laughs> so it's proportionately different. I love my curves. I love my curves. I love curves. That's why I want more. <laughs> so you see I'm wearing this this top and also I'm going to try on a dress that I bought years ago and I never wore it so it still has a tax on it because um, I just feel like it would look so much better with breast. So I'm so excited, I'm so excited, I'm so happy that I'm finally getting them done. 2014 is my year. I've waited so long and it's finally, it's finally here. It's, it's here. So there's rules that you have to follow before surgery. One of them is not drinking any caffeine, which I broke that rule today. So tomorrow, I promise, I promise myself, <laughs> starting tomorrow, no more caffeine. Um, what else? Let me just briefly read over some of the rules just so you guys know. Um, the day of surgery, you can't take a shower, you can't wear any body lotion, any um, oil, cream, nothing on your face, you can't wear any jewelry, valuables at home. I guess for those who have had surgery before, any type of surgery, then you, then it's pretty much standard um, rules across the board. Um, you can't eat eight hours before surgery. If, you, if you're on medication, you just have to take that medicine with a sip of water. Um, you can take aspirin, ibuprofen, Mortrin, um, Advil, any of that before surgery. Um, what else does this say? Oh, and also you have to have a ride um, there and a ride home. And there has to be someone that's willing to stay with you 24 hours um, to kind of monitor your your to monitor you after surgery. So again, um, I'm going to put on this dress so that you can see how I look now. And then I'm going to, um, once I get my breasts done, I'm going to try on the same dress and then I'm going to wear this bikini so you can see the difference. So um, stay tuned, stay tuned. I'm so excited. Okay, so here is a dress that I bought years ago and it's brand spanking new. I have not worn it because um, I don't like how my breasts feel in the top part. Um, and again, people who go out wearing like wearing dresses like this with no breasts, um, more power to them, you know. But with me, I wear clothes that are flattering to my body, and I just feel like if you wear a top like this, it just looks better if if there's something to fill it in. So. Um, let me show you my behind so you can see how it's not in proportion with my breath. So here's my behind. I love it. Actually, I, I really do. I love it. And, and I lost 20 pounds, so it's, it's actually 20 pounds smaller. Um, <laughs> so, um, I, so I just can't wait to get my breasts done because... I'm going to be like voluptuous all around. So I'm going to wear this dress once I get my breasts done so you can see the difference.